In my goddess hero journey, owning your desires is number one. Before we even go into letting go of the past and forgiving people and blah, 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 which we have to do anyway, we first need to know where we're we going with all of this. So take a few minutes, let's have just gentle music on, and write down those three desires. And be really specific in what is that moment you want to experience. It'll be different for every single one of you. Is it feeling so close and connected to someone that you can really surrender? What is it? Is it putting your feet into warm sand when you wake up and taking that beach walk? And when you write these desires, you can literally write, I desire to feel that warm sand under my feet as I take that walk along this pristine beach, breathing in the salty air. You can say, I desire to feel the warmth of a loved one next to me. Be very specific. This is your screenplay. What would that loved one or that person say to you in that moment? What would you like to hear from someone else? What are the kind of smells that you associate with those desires? What does that smell like? What does that taste like? The more specific you are, the more energy you are charging these desires with. For those of you that have already finished writing, maybe make a symbol next to your desires. A symbol that resembles those desires. It can be something very simple. Draw something. Make it look pretty. to an end with your desire writing, you can always add to it later. You have started tapping into the vortex. You're already in the middle of the process of automatic writing. I threw you right in there so you wouldn't even think about it. So as you have already tapped into this vortex, the next question I would love you to answer for yourself is, What would change, what would be different once you have not only owned those desires, but what if you have manifested them? Imagine that we are now in a super galactic spaceship and we're floating beyond this earthly ream. Just imagine that would be possible. 
They've been people up on moons, so it is technically possible. And now in our mind, we're in this amazing spaceship, and we're going to take this journey to a portal of the universe. There are portals, and these portals seem to do something amazing. They are places of instant manifestation. So let's just imagine for now that we are about to enter this portal. And we are going well prepared because you have written down your desires. You know what you want in this portal. So once we enter this portal, it's done. You can know that your wishes have been heard. The desires are sent out. There is no more for you to do because you have said, this is what I want. So you can enter into the next part of your manifestation, which is that you are going to be patient and allow it to come to you, right? And you're going to be that open channel, allowing your highest guidance to take you to the exact right places to meet the exact right people who can open the next doors for you, because you're not going to do this all on your own, right? So for now, just imagine it's all taken care of. So let's have the music on again. And as you just maybe consider this amazing state. Let's just think about that. Maybe even close your eyes, because then you can take out all visual distractions and you can allow yourself to just ponder on the idea that all those desires, those specific ones that you have just connected with, that those desires are already fulfilled. So as you ponder on this idea, you already start rolling your eyes upwards. And you say silently inside of yourself, even if I don't know how, all these desires that I have now noted down can become reality. I only do know that it is so now. And I am fulfilled. I delete, delete, delete any information in my system that could in any way block the manifestation of these desires and my ability to receive the gifts of the universe. And I download, download, download all the programming information, frequencies and patterns that I need to become one with the reality where I have manifested these heart's desires. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So it is, so it is, so it is. And as you imagine that you are now floating in this beautiful space, it maybe feels like a warm ocean of love that is carrying you. It maybe feels like a soft blanket that you could wrap around your body. You notice that your physical body is becoming light and airy, just like a feather. So imagine now that your consciousness could start drifting again, wrapped in this warm, secure blanket of love as you imagine drifting through the universe, together with this sacred community of people, of souls who are on the same journey as you. And in this space, in this intergalactic spaceship, as you are bubbles of consciousness drifting safely within this sacred vessel, you know that you are about to enter the portal of instant manifestation. In the movie of your mind, it is becoming bright and colorful. And at the same time, you are feeling an energy of peace and relaxation wash over your body that allows your body and brain to relax at such a deep level that the silence of space and the sounds of the portal nearing are washing over your consciousness. 
and you realize that this is a pivotal moment in your life where you are consciously creating more of not only what you want, but what your heart desires to see manifested. So that you, beloved souls, may reach that point in your destiny that you can be one with the mission of why you came onto this planet. So know that this is a sacred moment for all light beings who are witnessing this transformational process you are about to go through. And allow our love to relax you and to ensure you that you are safe, that the abundance and the love of the universe is meant for you to tap into. There is a reason why you came here. There is a reason why you chose this path. And we honor each one of you who chose to make the sacrifices and that commitment to show up, to show up as your entire wonderful being with all your vulnerabilities, all your strengths, all your so-called weaknesses, and as you are step by step becoming more whole again by reintegrating those parts that you for some reason judged or locked away inside of your consciousness, the more you experience this wholeness, this oneness within you, you are able to manifest that glory of life and the beauty of creation outside of you. And this shift in consciousness can only be created in community. So allow these thoughts, these concepts to be like relaxing bubbles, bubbles of possibility that enable you to go even deeper into that ocean of consciousness and love. And know that we are now almost at that moment. So for your human minds to know the moment is here, Joy will count from five to one. And when you hear that one, we invite you to drop into that ocean of oneness, feeling the connection of all your hearts, of all the hearts that are in this vortex that you created, and allow every single one of you to heighten their frequency, to hold this space of love and release those desires. Release them knowing that they have not only been heard, but it is taken care of. And knowing that, you five sense a feeling of excitement inside of you. Four, as you are now approaching that pivotal moment and you are about to release those desires like a hot air balloon rising to the center of the universe. Four, at the moment we reach one, you will take a deep breath in and out. And when you exhale, imagine releasing that balloon of your desires to the center of the universe. Three, allow that feeling of drifting and floating towards a portal of the universe become a pleasurable experience inside of you. Allow the energy inside of you now to start building up by sending your breath to the bottom of your spine, to your first chakra. Take deep breaths and take your breath into every nook and cranny of your hips, your groins, your first and second chakra. Allow your chakras to start spinning in the optimum speed for you. Allow the red, soothing, comforting energy give you so much safety. 
that the orange energy of your second chakra is becoming like this warm sunrise. This orange-yellow sunlight is starting to mix and swirl in your chakras. As you three now enter the yellow zone, and you realize that you are almost there. And you notice now already in your third chakra, maybe, that this sense of power you are feeling is a new power. It does not come from force. It comes from allowing the grace of God to bestow on you what it is that you really desire, what you really need. And this power of owning that powerful manifestator that you are, that creatrix and creator of life, allows a surge of energy now to move up and up through your third chakra into your heart space. Take a deep breath into your heart. Allow the green, soothing, healing energy of your heart to relax you even more and create a sense of space inside of you. You are now not only floating in space in your mind's eye, but you are experiencing space within you. For your chakras have let go of debris of the past, and there is now space for you to fill with this life force. So allow your breath to bring even more life force into your body. Breathe into deeply your first, second, third, fourth chakra, opening up your channels of the divine. Two, getting even closer to the portal in time where you are going to release your desires. You notice a bubbling energy inside of you that comes from your heart, a sense of courage and excitement that is now bubbling up into your throat chakra. And you sense this feeling of freedom inside of you, the freedom of a beautiful summer sky that blue that reminds you of how beautiful it is to own your authentic self, to speak true words of love, of kindness, of compassion. Notice how the area in your throat feels lighter and relieved of all those constrictions of the past. As you simply breathe and continue this journey, you're so close to this portal in time now. Are you ready to breathe in? Exhale, and one, you are now at this portal in time. So release that balloon. Take a deep breath in. Hold your breath and exhale and release. And maybe you just notice your balloon of desires drift up and up and up towards that center of the universe, the source of creation, so that all these desires that we have sent out can become one again with source. And as they do so, maybe just notice how source is sending back a wave of love. It almost maybe looks like a delicate firework in the sky. And this stardust is raining upon you. Open up your third eye and your crown chakra to receive this blessing of the universe. Knowing that you are not only safe and loved, but that you are worthy of every one of those desires. Allow that sense of peace to flow through your entire body. 
Allow that sense of certainty to flow into your writing hand. And very gently reconnect with certainty to your body, keeping that connection to the universe open like a portal of flowing energy. And as you do so, you notice that the urge in your writing hand becomes stronger and stronger. It's almost as if you feel the desire to note down what is going to change for you now that you have experienced the possibility of your desires becoming true, being one with you. So take a deep breath in. Feel yourself opening your eyes. Notice how your gaze stays soft. Take your writing hand and your pen. And now write down what is different now for you. How will life change now that you have these desires taken care of? Who are you going to be now? Who are you now? What are the things you're now going to be able to say to yourself with certainty? How will this change your interaction with others? this change your relationship to yourself? What are the things you are willing to commit to right now to doing from today onwards, from now onwards? What promises, pinky promises, will you make yourself And when you write these things down, make sure you write them down in the positive way. So instead of writing, I shall no longer procrastinate, maybe make it even more powerful and say, I shall do things exactly when they need to be done. Instead of saying, I shall no longer worry about money, write, money is my friend. And I trust that the abundance of the universe is mine. Get the idea? You can also write down rules for yourself. Like I made a rule for myself that I shall only allow myself to feel angry when I consistently and repeatedly fall for the illusion that others are trying to hurt or betray me. Only then will I feel anger. So you want to make it difficult for yourself. And you want to make it easy for yourself to feel all the good stuff. So I feel love whenever I experience love in others. I feel love whenever I hear words of love, whether they're mine or others. I feel love whenever I read words of love. I feel love whenever I hear children laugh. How are you gonna experience love in future? 
What are your rules for love? to finish up now. You can always continue later, promise. Ah, take a big deep breath in. Stretch out your arms, reach for the skies. Ah, okay. Shake out your hands. Ah, say good job. Good job. We just flew through space, people. Did you realize that? 